This video is sponsored by Boundary. Right, let's head to the unit. Welcome back. I know it's been a while, so a lot has happened since I've uploaded last. So I thought, why don't I kind of update you on what's happening with the cars? Also, a lot of you have been asking uh, about the houses, like what's happening with Matt's house. He is buying one at the minute, um, so I thought I might do a little house tour and a Q&A with Matt. That's Kevin crying in the background. <laughs> um, so yeah, let me start off by showing you what my car looks like at the minute. Okay, and here is my Audi RS5. I'm loving the way it's looking at the minute. We've got the Maxim design splitters. The grill isn't new, it's just painted. Uh, that's sort of like old school, Matt, what he used to do. But uh, we couldn't actually find a grill, so we had to resort to painting it. But I still think it looks good. Right, I do apologize about how dirty it is, but you have to understand, this is my daily and I do drive it every day and it is the winter, so please forgive me. Uh, but we have got Maxim design front splitter, side skirts, uh, new diffuser and whatever these side bits are uh, but it just makes the back of the car and the front of the car and the side look way more aggressive and how it should look really. So nothing new on the interior, I still haven't got my heated seats but hopefully in the future we'll be able to retrofit them but yeah let's go look in the unit and see what's new in there okay so we've got three cars in here at the minute the lamborghini the 86 at the back and the bmw e46 this car the e46 has had the biggest change i feel like i don't know if you can see and i don't know if i should be showing this either because matt might tell me off but the interior is it open it's open. The interior has been completely stripped out. My God, the smell in here, it, it's making me feel sick, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, but yeah, the, you should have seen what all of this looked like underneath. There was so much gravel, crumbs, everything. It, it, it was really bad. Uh, so it's quite nice to be able to actually hoover it out and feel like you're making a difference. So I think with the E46, there's just some welding that needs doing to the back. Uh, we're in talks with another unit across the road from us who's going to be doing the welding. We just need to get the timing right, so that's what that's waiting for. Now, the Toyota GT86. Uh, anyone who's been watching Matt's videos will know my relationship with this car. I don't like it at all. I don't like the way it drives. I sort of like the way it looks. Um, the wheels have made a huge difference. Now I feel like it looks like a Hot Wheels car that's sort of on steroids. So Matt's obviously added this monster of a wing. Uh, he's flared the arches, got new exhaust and that weird jacking point bit which I don't really understand but sort of makes sense in a way. And then we have the carbon bonnet. I mean there's still so much to be done to this car but I think the next thing that I'm excited for is to get it wrapped. Wrapping a car makes a huge difference to the way it looks and I don't know if this one's going to make it any better. I don't know if it's going to change my opinion on the car. Um, but I'm excited to see it and I'm excited to see Matt stress over wrapping it because this this doesn't look very easy. <laughs> okay, moving on to the clothing. The newest thing we've got is these HWBT Hard Work Beats Talent Beanies in black, my favourite, grey and pink. They are available on the website now and coming soon or probably when this video goes live we have Christmas boxes we've not done this before wanted to do it last year but we didn't have a lot of stock so I'm so happy we get to do it now so in the Christmas box you will get to pick what style and size hoodie you want what color beanie you want uh, what jet tag you want and you will get both the Hard Work Beats Talent and Kevin Air Fresheners. This is just an example of what I would put together. Obviously yours will probably look very different to this but that's the fun of it. Also on the front there will be a uh, Christmas wreath with Matt's logo on that my sister is designing so it will be very Christmassy. We only have 50 of these boxes available so if you want one for yourself or for your partner or for your friend you better get in there quick. Wait, let me just pause the video right there to tell you about the sponsor of this video, Boundary. So you might be wondering, what is Boundary? Boundary is basically an at-home security system using motion sensors. I'm really big on security in my house, so Boundary seemed like the perfect fit for me. While I'm installing Boundary, let me tell you why. 
First thing is that it was really easy to install and I managed to set up my whole system in under 30 minutes and I didn't have to screw into the wall. Secondly, Boundary works with your smart home assistants like Alexa and Google Home. There's multiple options you can have with this, but my favourite is if an intruder trips the alarm, you can set for your lights to come on and play a dog barking. Another great thing about Boundary is the app. I can have peace of mind that my house is safe from anywhere in the world. Lastly, as you all know, Kevin is a huge part of our lives, so we wanted a system that would work with him. Boundary has a clever pet friendly sensors that will ignore Kevin, so no false alarms. Obviously, that's not everything Boundary can do, so if you want to learn more or you want to start designing your own Boundary system, click the link in my description where you'll get 45% off or use my code Hannah at checkout. Thank you Boundary for sponsoring this video. Back to Hannah. Do you like it? He does like it. Oh. <laughs> Little sneak preview for Hanno's channel own there. We're working in collaboration with Slicks Car Care to make some sort of detailing stuff that I can use on the cars day in, day out, and you guys will be able to buy it as well. Um, yeah, but we're just figuring out products and stuff. But these are like the wash mitts, and these are used by detailers as well, and the drying cloth as well. We want to make sure they're half decent, obviously, because I'm using them on my cars every single day. So we're just checking and figuring things out. But sneak preview. Kevin likes it. Take care. He's gone. <laughs> this is what he does every time. <laughs> Spontaneous trip to Audi. And why are we going to Audi? Audi, not Aldi. Why are we going to Audi? Because we need um, a little bit of chassis for Liam's S3. The same bit that you needed on mine. Yeah, and Audi. It was really confusing to buy in the first place, yeah, so we've got Audi to go through all that again. And what, arch lining? Passenger side arch lining. Probably those more bits that we need, but they're the bits that I need so far to even start right the thing. So that means that Matt will be starting the video for the S3, so look out for that. And we have Kevin. <laughs> Just finished at Audi. They didn't have what we want. Um, we always find it so difficult when we go into Audi. So, so it's literally the hardest the thing. Hardest thing. Oh yes, Kevin. Kevin's panicking. Just need that inner wing and it's Oh, they say it's going to be a month. We found it last time for our car, I know, for this car, but last for the time, Audi, Remember, we spoke to the other person, he was it like, yeah, it's going to be a month. It still and took it so there. long. Um, We're going to have to chop it off the scrap coal. Scrap yard it is, then. Inner wing. Oh, yeah. Outer wing. It's just massive. It's just huge, look. On my car, All the way it's literally to the door. like that. Big. I know, and I thought this would come separate, but it's already spot welded to it. It's literally. Oh my We're days. not going to use the whole thing, and we've got little bits. That, how much would you say all of this? We've got like all the plastic bits for the cooling hoses and stuff like that. Yeah. So it's stupid, like 500 quid. 370 quid. Oh, that's right. Yeah, it's not too bad. Okay, just finished at Audi. I am home at the minute. I'm going to head back over to the unit where Matt is at the minute. We're going to clean both of our cars and then head over to go pick up the new high-speed comps car. I can't wait for you to see it. I'm so excited. <laughs> okay, we're back at the unit and I was absolutely disgusted with the last clip of my car. So I have cleaned it and she looks like a brand new car. And oh. Check out this. I'm testing, you've seen the, the mitts and the drying towels. I'm just testing a few snow foams out, but I think we found one. Look how thick, look at it, it's like milkshake. Look how thick this snow foam is. About to spray it off. It smells so nice. Smells well, really good. Honestly. It's coming soon. This I'm has getting been excited on for, like for this. Five minutes already. So we've been. Like we're working with Slicks Car Care with all this stuff as well. So obviously a lot of you might be thinking like, oh, what do you know about car detailing? Well, I know very little, but we know someone that does know a lot and that's who's helping us out with a lot of this stuff. So, but this is looking really good and it smells fresh. <laughs> Matt is going to tell you all about the new high-speed comms car. Just for a new second. Car. 
Look how good they look next to each other. Audi, Audi, new competition I do car. Love an Audi. It is an Audi A1 1.4, the uh, turbo engine. So it's cheap to insure, it's cheap to run, which seems to be the best ones for these competitions. Hopefully, high speed guys, they, they approve us on this. It's been our choice this time. But it's lowered, um, it's red, it's had the roof wrapped um, black, and it's got the panoramic sunroof thing as well. At the back, the lights are tinted. Um, this part here has been wrapped as well. Black badges, killer wipers, D wiper. Um, on the front, we have got um, tinted front lights as well. I think it has had a Maxon design splitter on at some point, but it's not had one on. Maybe we'll put one on. Don't know. That's definitely been added. I don't think it beats on standard. Inside your normal Audi interior, pretty nice, and. I don't think it has a, had an exhaust. It does sound good though. It does sound good. A little grumble. It's a little pair. And that is the next competition car. This is going to be good. Someone's going to be buzzing to win that, I think. It's a I perfect would. car. It's more of like it. an everyday car. The one thing, I don't know, what we're we feeling about these sort of greeny, bluey calipers oh they can be painted that could be a matt armstrong project i don't know <laughs> i don't know how and feel the about pink that. uh the pink dust caps but i actually <laughs> like red cars like red cars take really good photos but yeah no, this is a mint out. car absolutely sick car someone's gonna love this i'm not sure what they're gonna price it at to give it away but it looks sick it'll be under Decent four pound car. i'm sure <laughs> but yeah hannah's gonna put a link in the description for that i'm sure Mint <laughs> sick car, let us know what you think. Right, back in the unit now, and I thought while Matt was working on the BMW, I'm gonna ask him some questions about houses and his houses. Right, all of these questions are from my Instagram followers. First one, how much was the deposit on your first property? 10%, which was £10,200 because the house was £102,000. Okay, this one's from Adam. He says, any key mistakes you think you made which would help others if they knew? Um, to do with houses, I would say, when I bought my first one, everyone's really panicky about paying off the mortgage and like that sort of thing when really house prices are just going up and up and up. So I was a bit scared about just doing an interest only mortgage and pulling out the money because then you think, oh my God, you've got a massive mortgage. Don't be scared of like getting in debt to make money as long as you're putting it obviously into a house or something like that that's that yeah as long, as long as you're reinvesting yeah as long as you're you reinvesting out, yeah yeah, yeah. They're, they're actually back out like yeah you shouldn't be scared about taking a massive long mortgage or like refinancing the house for eight for ages thinking oh, i'm never going to pay the house off because that money that you will make out of that will make more money another question on instagram from the turbo lads uh, are you considering buying another property? Um, I wouldn't say no. Well, we've obviously you've already said that we're about ready to buy. Well, we've bought another one. I have oh, you not? No. Oh, okay. Yeah. So I've bought another one, and it should be going through either this week or next week. But that's it. Then no more rentals. Um, if you're going to buy another one now, it'd be for myself um, and Hannah. And Hannah, which we need to do, like like a dream house build, you know, like a forever house, like a farm with a unit on, something like that. But I wouldn't buy any more rentals now. It's, I haven't got the time to do it. It's more of like a full-time job. When you go past like three or four properties, it becomes more of like a full-time job to maintain them. And obviously I spend my time doing all this. So yeah, it, enough's enough now. No more rentals. I, wouldn't, I don't have the time to flip them or do them up anymore either. So next house will be the forever house. <laughs> Another one from the big man. He says, oh. "Do you manage your properties? So, do you manage your properties, or do you get a company to manage them?" Manage it all, all myself. I think that's the best way, especially if you're local. But if the, if you're far away, um, like the one that we've just bought is up north in Durham. So, we'll, I'll try and manage it myself. But. If I struggle, then I, I will get an estate agent, but generally I just manage them all myself. It's just easier, like, you bring an estate agent into it, it's just another person, and it's like Chinese whispers, and you blame stuff on the estate agent, and the estate agent blames it on the tenant, and it just, it, yeah, it just becomes a nightmare, and 
So it's easier just to manage it yourself, find the tenants yourself, go on like your gut feeling with them. And, uh, and we've always the like way. we've always advertised on Facebook as well, and we've actually got decent tenants off there. I yeah. think you've just got to be a good judge of character, like just yeah, got to know. Go around, meet the tenants yourself. All the estate agents are going to do is tick boxes, so mm. they'll look at they'll look for tenants for you. They pass the credit check, they've got a job, and they've got no pets or whatever, and they just tick boxes. You don't know what they're like as a person, so like you're better off just meeting them. There's people. There's I, there's people that I've got in some of my properties that they don't pass credit checks or anything like that, but they've been the best tenants. Um, so you've got to go on your gut feeling. Okay, I'm going to end the video there. The secret work going on behind me on the E46. So remember to click the link in my description for 45% off Boundary, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. So you think you were right? mm -hmm. Bring it on, bring it on, prove me wrong. Go put up a fight. Mm -hmm. The way I do, way I do will knock you down